Hey guys, Torheim here with my Feral PvP guide for 4.3 and onwards. I know there have been some other Feral guides that have been posted since I promised to do one on TGN Idol, but I'm going to keep my promise and hopefully bring you guys something that the other ones haven't. For this first video, I'm just going to go over the basics of talents and glyphs for Ferals. This is pretty straightforward, but I figured I'd do it anyway because I want to lay the groundwork for the rest of the guide. So if you don't really care about talents and glyphs, feel free to check out the next video in the guide. To start off, I'm going to talk about which talents are the mandatory ones. These ones are the ones that every feral should be taking in PvP, regardless of their role. First off, you want 2 out of 2 in feral swiftness. This will give you the best part about being feral, the mobility. Oh, and the 4% dodge is great too. An important thing to remember is that this will change two abilities of yours, dash and stampeding roar. Both of these will now remove all roots from you, so don't waste them. We need 3 out of 3 in Fuhrer, because this will let us shift into Bear and into Cat without having insanely large DPS losses from lack of energy. 2 out of 2 in Predatory Strikes is one of the most important parts of being a Pharaoh. This will make it so that when you use a finishing move, you have a chance to get an instant nature spell. Pharaohs will generally, generally use this on Cyclone, Root, or Healing Touch. Infected Wounds is also necessary. This will slow any target you're on, and will prevent them from kiting you all the way around the map. Since you already move 30% faster, a 50% slow will let you stay on a target for pretty much the whole time. Primal Fury is a must-have. You need it because it'll make your crits give you extra combo points, essentially two for the price of one ability. King of the Jungle makes it so that your Tiger's Fury gives you a damage increase, instead of just giving you energy back. It's important to remember that if you apply any bleeds during Tiger's Fury, they will also do 15% more damage for their entire duration. Feral Charge is your most important gap closer, and when it's coupled with Stampede, it even becomes a damage increase when they get away from you. Leader of the Pack is necessary, unless you're running with another class that provides the same 5% crit, like a Rogue. Brutal Impact actually makes your kick useful, as well as making your bash ridiculously long and a great CC. Nurturing Instinct makes your healing spells decent instead of completely useless, but you really want this talent for the extra healing done on yourself. Extra healing means you can stay cat form for longer when people are on you, instead of having to go bear form defensively. Survival Instinct is a shield wall for druids. The great part about this is you can use it while berserking. One button and you take 50% less damage. It's borderline OP to be honest, because you can stay in cat while bursting while you're taking 50% less damage. Endless Carnage makes your rotation a little bit more forgiving. Having Rake last longer means that you don't have to refresh it as much, and if you only have one chance to use Rake, it'll stay up a lot longer. Natural Reaction makes Bear Form really, really good to use when you're under pressure. 20% damage reduction, and you can stack it with Wall or Bark Skin to make it even more effective, and prevent a lot of damage. Rend and Tear pretty much speaks for itself. There's no reason you shouldn't take this talent. It's like a straight-up DPS increase to your most important abilities. Berserk is your main DPS ability, so take it. Alright, now let's look at the restoration tree. Everyone agrees that you should put in points into Heart of the Wild for the extra attack power, as well as getting Master Shapeshifter for the crit chance. Alright, now that we've gone over the mandatory talents, let's talk a bit about the optional ones. Your choice in these talents is really based on your own playstyle, so I'll explain what each one signifies. First of all, Fury Swipes. This is a bit of a controversial talent, because it procs off auto attacks. Generally in PvP, if you're being peeled, you won't be landing very many auto attacks, so your bleeds and abilities will be doing most of your damage. I personally put one point into it, to help my burst out of it, but I wouldn't put too many more points in it. It's not worth two more talent points just to increase the proc chance by a mere 10%. If you're confident in your uptime, I would take a point in this talent. Feral Aggression. This talent I almost included in the mandatory section, and to be honest, I would take it for the extra bite damage regardless of your role. But if you're finding yourself having trouble keeping bleeds up and you're not really biting very much, or if you're using your bite combo points on mames instead, then I wouldn't take it, but to be honest, it's a really good talent. Thick Hide is a tanking talent overall, but if you find yourself getting focused by melee cleaves, you can change it. It will give you a lot more armor in cat form, and a ton more armor in bear form. This also reduces the crit chance on you, which is obviously helpful. 
Primal Madness is another PvE DPS talent, but I take one point in it. This will give you higher energy cap while Tiger's Fury is up. I take one point in it because when I use Tiger's Fury, it's great to have the extra 10 energy if I'm capping it. Some people put two points in it with zero in Fury Swipes. The last optional talent is Perseverance. This is honestly a tanking talent, or maybe a flag carrying talent, but early on I felt like spell cleaves were killing me because I wasn't good enough at line of sighting or mitigating their damage. So I put two points into it earlier. I wouldn't recommend it at high levels of play, but if you're getting focused a lot by spell cleaves, it's always there as an option. Now that I've gone in depth about feral talents, I'll quickly go over the glyphs. Just like the talents, there are some mandatory glyphs and some optional ones. So, I'll go over the mandatory ones first, and then I'll talk about your options. For Prime Glyphs, you need Berserk, for the extra Berserk duration, and this will make it almost impossible for the enemy team to CC you through your entire Berserk. You also need Rip, because it's your main bleed and increasing its damage is always good. As far as Major Glyphs, you need Feral Charge and Barkskin. The reason the Barkskin Glyph is so good is something that's often overlooked. The 25% reduced crit chance seriously messes up at many enemy cooldowns. Things like Shadow Dance, Recklessness, and especially Deep Freeze are often mitigated hugely or even stopped by using Bark Skin with the Glyph. This is a must have. As far as minor glyphs, there's really only one mandatory glyph, and that's Dash. Since it's Root Break now, having a Root Break on shorter cooldown is entirely necessary. Alright, now for the optional glyphs. In your last glyph spot for Prime, you can put either Mangle or Shred, which has been renamed to the Glyph of Bloodletting in 4.3. I would recommend Mangle for beginners who are using Mangle as their main DPS ability. If you're more experienced Feral and you're not using Mangle as much, then I would recommend taking the Glyph of Shred. In the current patch, this Glyph increases the time on your rip by 2 seconds each time you use Shred, up to 6 seconds. When 4.3 comes out, this will proc off Mangle too, which makes it even better. The choice still remains essentially the same though. If you're new to Feral and you're using Mangle a lot more than Shred, the 10% increase will help a lot. If you don't use Mangle as much and you're starting to use Shred on a regular basis, then Glyph of Shred will help you out with your rotation and it'll give you a lot more free combo points. The final major Glyph spot has a toss up between three different Glyphs. The first is Entangling Roots. It's sometimes incredibly important to be able to cast Entangling Roots on someone so having a reduced cast time is sometimes really helpful. Glyph of Ferocious Bite is pretty amazing, but it's hard to ever get used, and it's not really a huge heal. I would take this if you're super confident about knowing when to use it. Finally, Glyph of Pounce is a good old ease of living glyph. When you Feral Charge behind someone, sometimes you won't be able to catch up to them, and having the Pounce Glyph will make it a lot harder to miss them and be running behind them in stealth, which is always the most annoying thing ever. As far as minor glyphs, if you really want to min-max, you can take the Glyph of Mark of the Wild. Sometimes you'll have a free global cooldown and you'll want to cast Mark on your teammates that's been dispelled, but honestly it's not like you're going to run Oom, so it's not that huge a deal. I personally take Glyph of Rebirth for BGs because I really really hate reagents and I never carry them around. And as a third, I would recommend getting maybe Glyph of Aquatic Form, because if you're trying to run away from someone in a map like Rathy Basin where there's water, it'll give you a huge movement speed increase over them. Alright, before I close out this video, I'll just quickly go over the talents and glyphs. Here is the necessary talent spec. The highlighted talents are your optional ones. My current talent spec is this one with 1 in Fury Swipes, 2 in Feral Aggression, and 1 in Primal Madness. As far as glyphs go, take these glyphs with the options of any of these others to replace them. Remember that this is just the first part of the Feral Guide, the future parts will be a lot more in-depth about how to play a Feral, but I just want to get the basics out of the way first. With this in mind, the next video is going to be a full gear, gem, and enchant guide. As I have it planned right now, here are the parts that I'm going to make. Let me know what you guys think, please leave a like to let me know that you do like these kind of videos, and I'll see you guys next time. This has been Torheim with TGN.TV, thanks for watching.